Hi everybody, it's Jeremy from Web Marketing Hero and in this video I'm going to show you how your business page can tag another business page via a status update. Now in case you don't know what tagging means, it simply means that in a status update you type the at symbol and then the name of a person or a business. In this case we're a business tagging another business, so I've typed in a business's name, it pops down from the drop down list, and there it is. Now when I click share, this highlighted area is going to end up as a link. So you can use it to say thanks to a business for example. And the reason that this came up is because a friend of ours who owns Fig Studio, which is a great interior design firm in Portland, Oregon, uh, asked us the question. She was just having trouble tagging another business. So we figured we'd put together a video and show her and all of you how to do it. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it using the example of Kelly's Jelly, which is a client of ours uh, who makes great habanero jelly here in Lake Oswego, Oregon. And the most important thing that you need to know about tagging another business is that your business page needs to like the business page you're trying to tag in order for you to see it in the drop down menu here. So what does that mean? Well, I'm logged in right now as Jeremy Schubert and I'm on the page that I admin. And right over here, you can see use Facebook as Web Marketing Hero. And you'll have a similar link over there with your business's name. So click that and you're going to see my icon change to Web Marketing Hero. So now let's go find Kelly's Jelly via the search. And if a thing that you're looking for doesn't pop in, just click on the see more results. And there it is. And I don't like her as my business yet, so I'm going to go ahead and click like. And now my business likes Kelly's Jelly's business. So let's cruise on back to Web Marketing Hero. And let's see if I can tag Kelly's Jelly. And I can't. And this is something that you might run into. Usually it works fine and you can just go ahead and, and you'll get the drop down that works great. But sometimes what happens is Facebook just doesn't register the fact that you have liked this other business yet, so you have to wait. So if it's not urgent, just wait a couple hours or wait until tomorrow and make your post, make your status update tagging the other business. But if it is urgent and it's something you want to get done now, there is a way around it. And that's to either launch another browser or try using a different computer. So in this case, I'm just going to launch Safari instead of Chrome. So do whatever works for you browser-wise. And you can see up here that I'm using Facebook as Web Marketing Hero. And I'm going to write at Kelly's Jelly. And there it is. So right there, I can tag Kelly's Jelly. And that's how it's going to work most of the time for you. So let's go ahead and see this status update through so you can see how it actually looks when we do it. So I've just written, because Kelly's Jelly is one of our favorite clients, we are using it as an example in a tutorial video uh, that you can see here. So when I click share on this, you're going to see that Kelly's Jelly turns into a link. So all of my fans are going to be able to be exposed to Kelly's Jelly. And then when I click on Kelly's page, look at that. Web Marketing Hero is now in front of all of her people as well with a link back to us. Now the reasons why you'd want to tag another business is to thank them, is to expose your fans to that business, and it's also to, as we just saw, get your business in front of that business's fans. Now when you actually get tagged by another business, so another business tags you, it also helps you out because it means another business has exposed your business to all of their fans and that they think what you're doing or what you're offering is valuable. It also helps your talking about this go up, which is great. And as a bonus, you get notified via email if you're an admin. So all admins get notified via email anytime that somebody else tags your business. So that way you can always stay up on who's tagging you and what's going on. Now in summary, tagging is something that's really easy to do. Just make sure that you're using Facebook as your business, that you have liked the page that you want to tag. And tagging people on Facebook to thank them is just simply good Facebook etiquette. And it's a great way to help build relationships. If you have any questions about this video or anything else web marketing wise, please visit us at facebook.com slash webmarketinghero.